Hello and welcome to my channel Unusual Creates. Today we are going to do a somewhat challenging yet a fun DIY. I tried creating this Etsy inspired wire art using some aluminum wires and a DIY wooden frame. I won't lie, it was a bit of a trial and error DIY for me as I had to figure out how to handle wire because working with wires could be very tricky and frustrating at times, especially if you cannot get the shape right. I had initially started by using wire in the thickness of 1.5mm for creating these straight lines but they kept sagging. Hence I had to redo some of the steps and change my process and add in a mix of thicknesses to get the desired look. I ended up using wires in the thickness of 3, 2.5, 2 and 1.5mm to make the straight lines. But before I go further, please subscribe to my channel and click on your notifications by hitting the bell icon which is right next to the subscribe button. This will let you know when I post my future videos. Now without further ado, let's start creating. I started off by creating a wooden frame for which I used some of the lumber that I already had. I used the wood in the thickness 1.5 inches and tried to create a 16 by 20 inch frame. I felt that it would be a good size to work with. I marked my lines and cut all the four sides using a chop saw at an angle of 45 degrees. In case you are making your own frame, make sure that you alternate between the 45 degree angles so that the two sides can be joined seamlessly. Also the frame that I showed in my last upcoming video clip actually got split while I was working on it. So I had to make this frame from scratch which honestly gave this whole project more stability. I made two pieces each of 16 and 20 inch length. Next, I found the midpoint of the wood and drew a line across it. This step will help us in keeping equal space between the holes that we will drill to get the wire through. Next, I marked holes along the length of the 16 inch wood, each hole at a distance of 1 cm. I drilled holes on all the points that I had marked before using bits in corresponding sizes. For making sure that both the 16 inch wood pieces have holes at the exact same location, you can clamp the two pieces together and then drill holes. This is a good idea since it will let you make the holes at the exact same place without the hassle of measuring and redoing the whole process. For this size of a frame, I made about 40 holes. Once the holes are drilled, now you can go ahead and join the frame together by using some wood glue. I joined the frame after I had drilled the holes because if I had made the frame earlier, I wouldn't have got enough room to make the holes and it would require a lot of adjustment and wiggling around. While the wood glue is drying, I try to straighten any kinks or curve in the wire that I was going to use by stretching the wire along its length using a rolling pin. If you have any other tool to straighten wire, then that's good. But I did not have one so I ended up improvising and using a rolling pin for this purpose. I know it sounds weird but trust me, it does the job. Simply keep running the rolling pin along the length of the wire piece a couple of times and you will find that all the kinks in your wire are gone. Once you have a sufficient number of straight wires, you can go ahead and make the face. Start by sketching out the design on a sheet. This will make our life easy when we are actually working with the wire. Once you have drawn the design, take a somewhat long length of wire, longer than what you might actually need and work with the figure that you just drew. Keep the wire on the sheet and move your fingers along the curves of the drawing. Make sure to hold the wire steady around all the curves of the face like nose, lips, etc. or it would be difficult to work. For making the face, I used 1.5mm thickness of wire. I improvised the Etsy picture and ended up making two faces. Once you are satisfied with the face, cut off the extra wire. Before passing it through the hole for the 1.5mm wires, I made a small loop at one of the ends of the wire. Once the loop at one of the ends is made, pass the non-loopy end through the hole and take it all the way to the corresponding hole on the other end of the frame. The loop that you had made before will hold the wire from passing it all the way into the frame. Stretch it as much as you can using a plier and wrap the other end using the frame. Follow these steps till you are at the 13th hole from the left and 7th hole from the right. Next, I moved on to make some hair for which I bent some wires giving it a hair kind of look. If you want, you can also draw these bent wires along the face to get a better idea of how to connect the face with the curved lines and where exactly to bend these lines. Now comes the actual joining part. You can solder these wires if you want, but honestly, I don't know how to solder properly. Hence, I decided to improvise and use some hot glue. 
It might sound a bit weird and you might even think that does hot glue even work on joining wires? Yes, it somewhat does, but just that you would have to use a tiny bit of it. For this purpose, don't use a glue gun as controlling the flow of glue would be difficult. Instead, heat up a soldering rod and grab a glue stick. Take a tiniest bit on the side of the rod and drop it at the ends of the wire that you want to stick. Since you are working with the soldering rod, it will keep the glue in melted form for longer time and you can easily work with the stick. Once you have glued the face with the bent wires, you can fill the nearby areas with small pieces of bent wire, giving it a look of hair. After this, I went ahead and painted the frame with some black acrylic color. Once your face and nearby wires are in place, you can continue working on the rest of the wires and fill the frame with straight wires by using the same method as I said before. Once all the wires are in place, I added some wood glue at the ends of the loops where the wire was joined with the wood. This will secure the wire from moving. Once the wire work is complete, I painted the frame black one more time and the wire in copper. I painted the wire because the wire that I was using was kind of dull and I wanted some shine on them. And that's it. Your Etsy inspired wire art is ready. The best part of doing the simple design is that you can play around with the curved lines and make your own design out of it. This is an amazing art piece which you can use to decorate your bedroom or living room, adding that contemporary touch to the whole room. I did get a lot of help from my husband, especially in straightening the wire, drawing the image and figuring out the gluing part. I took the most time in figuring out on how to keep the wire straight and keeping it from sagging. Thick wires are really helpful if you just want to keep straight lines. But if you are making a face or any kind of a shape, use a 1.5mm wire. But once I figured my way around it, this whole project became very easy. Let me know what you guys think of my Etsy inspired wire artwork. If you liked it, then hit the like button. Also don't forget to comment, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you have already subscribed, then please hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button and click on your notifications so that you do not miss out on my future videos. That's it from me. I will talk to you soon with my next DIY artwork. Till then, take care and stay safe.